We are currently here at the closest hospital to Russia. Look out the window right there, you'll see the Russian border actually. Fuck, things are looking bad. Yo man, we got a bunch of explosions. We're on a heavy bombardment at the moment. Get inside, get inside, get inside. armor, stand around us and don't have armor. Give us some shield. Correct. So heavy. Oh, lungs. This is a train to the most dangerous country in the world. And I know what you're thinking, Phil. What are you gonna tell your mom? Well, yeah. I'm in England. She'll never know. Well, I love you too. You take care, okay? Sounds good, mom. Bye, car. Bye. I just don't want to leave my mom alone. The mom she has left, you know. And guys, don't judge me for lying to my mom. She's literally a war refugee from Vietnam. So finding out that I'm in Ukraine would send her right back to PTSD. For the past few months, I've been working with different groups to try to help out the people of Ukraine. Literally, like you drive in and Absolutely. you just grab people. Like it's that simple. Dude, that's exactly how my mom escaped from Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, really? I've also been working with my friends at the warehouses cut support for UA and EU, and they basically send in supplies all over Ukraine to people that need it the most. And we've done some crazy things. Fundraised $250,000, procured and delivered literal tons of goods. Can we speak for a second? Let us speak on Phil's behalf. Truly the most generous, kindest, like most lighthearted person I've ever met. I think we're all so lucky to have met Phil as a friend, as a colleague. The work that he's doing is tremendous. Thank you guys for supporting him. Keep doing so. He deserves every second of appreciation, truly. Truly embraces people for the sake of people. As That's full. eccentric and loving and generous <laughs> as he comes off on camera. And crazy. And, and crazy. <laughs> this guy's... Yeah, I hope you guys mind. all have the pleasure of meeting Phil at one point. <laughs> Thank you guys, that, that means a lot actually. I love you, buddy. It's crazy to think that a flight bought by the founder of Twitch, Justin Khan, for me to go to Poland is what started this. And now we're in the position where if the Ukrainian people don't get these supplies, then they quite literally starve to death. So you guys are probably wondering, how are you gonna get into Ukraine? Literally, Ukraine's borders are just like normal, so if you guys wanna drive in, or if you guys wanna train in, it's just a typical 90-day visa for Americans. So I'm gonna detail for you guys how I got it. First, you're gonna take a train from Krakow to Przemysl. And I know it looks like Przemysl. Don't say that. I got ridiculed for making that pronunciation. Przemysl, you're gonna switch trains and get to Lviv. It's about nine hours of trains, and I think you have like about a two hour wait at the border. So my biggest fear on public transportation is silence sitting next to a random person. So I decided to break the ice and show everyone my fox. <gasps> oh, he's adorable. Hold this thing down. Just use it to stand. I have an affinity for going on to higher services, and maybe that's because I'm really short. What? Hello. Wait, what is your name again? Nika. Nika. Philip. Nice to meet you. Nice to <laughs> we just got to live here. It's so beautiful. I just realized that I've slept in this train station right there. That's crazy. This brings me back so much. Right now, Uber is not working because apparently we are past the curfew. And I don't have local currency, obviously, because I just got here from Poland, so... So the curfew in Lviv is 11, so taxis and Ubers aren't supposed to take you, which is stupid because travelers aren't able to get to where they need to be, even though a train comes after 11. But I guess they don't expect any non-locals to be coming, so that makes sense. Baka. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure if this was an act of racism, but I ended up booking an $8 hostel in Lviv. When I arrived, I went to relax in the lounge, dropped my stuff on the floor, put my camera on the table, and this happened when I left the room. I left my stuff here and went to the other room. This guy was like, yeah, these German guys were like, fuck that guy, and then kicked my shit and broke part of my camera. It's, it's all metal, so I don't know, but it's gonna be fine. These racist motherfuckers kicked my camera when I wasn't looking and then ran off. Here's the story. I get to my hostel. It's eight dollars a night. I decide to sit down and look around and I find these two guys in black staring at me. And if you're not a person of color, you probably don't realize, but whenever you go places, people stare at you because you look different. Sometimes they glance and sometimes they fucking stare. Anyways, I walk past them on my way to the kitchen and I smile at one of them. He glares at me. 10 minutes later, an American guy comes to the kitchen and I start chatting with him. And he's talking about how there's- They're your Antifa type. A crazy German anarchist that were in the other room. They kicked a camera and broke a microphone. And I'm just like, that's my camera. And they took my hat. So the next morning I go to the receptionist, tell them what happened, and we look at the security footage. <gasps> oh my God. I was pretty pissed, but the reception said that they'd be there for the next two days. So foreshadowing, I confront them. 
I'm in front of Lviv Opera House. Uh, this is kind of like the city center of Lviv. It's kind of crazy how busy it is out. If I didn't know any better, I would assume there's no war here. Uh, very lovely, everyone's having fun and it's a Tuesday too. I saw this floral wall that looked so beautiful, but when I walked closer, I realized that this was a wall of significant people that had passed from the war. Roaming data is super expensive, so I decided to get a SIM card, found this random guy on the street, and apparently unlimited data is like $6 a month. And it's super fast too. Now this city is so beautiful. I would live here. I'm trying to live here. If you're Ukrainian and you want to get married so I can stay here, hit me up. This is beautiful. Afterwards, I went to the park and I made a friend. Her name is McKenna, but our relaxing chat was rudely interrupted. Unfortunately, there's an alarm going on, so... This is crazy. There's like a literal, what is this called? A fire siren? Air alarm. There's, there's an air alarm going on right now and no one's moving. <laughs> like, mm, <laughs> some people are. <laughs> look, at the, look at the people behind us. They're just like, fuck it. We die together. Because nobody is going to bomb the park, I guess. All right, so right yeah. now there's been explosions in yeah, Lviv sure and there's a lot of people walking around trying to get to safety. Hoping nothing happens, but there's been maybe four explosions in the background, so I hope everything's gonna be okay. Earlier, the streets were completely packed with people, and now everyone is getting shelter right now. I found this on the news the next day, and apparently Russia bombed the electrical and railway services so that they couldn't send supplies from the west to the eastern part of Ukraine. I decided that if there was going to be an explosion, it would probably be best if I was with a bunch of other people, so I decided to go back to my hostel. Oh, by the way, do you guys remember those racist German guys that kicked my fucking camera across the store? Well, the American guy sent me this text. I ran into them, I somehow got the balls to confront them. Yo, bro, I heard you're the one that kicked my camera. I knew you didn't take it, it's got the microphone next to it. It's, it's completely off. Uh, because it was standing why didn't you there all why the time. Didn't you, when you asked me, I was sitting there before the entire time. You saw yeah, me walk I, there. Because it was standing there about half an hour I'm, next to it. Why does that matter? Why would you kick my shit? Dude, that, that shit's yeah, expensive. I can't say uh, anything. Why? Else. What's it, bro? I'm, I'm recording right now. I'm definitely recording. <laughs> You fucking kicked my yeah, shit. That, that's my problem. You, that's kicked, my you pro kicked my that's shit, my bro. That's my problem. You kicked my if shit. If you want, I give you the money for 